Time management has always been something that I've struggled with when it comes to school. Sometimes you're like, oh, I'll study for that later. I'll do that homework later. I'll just go hang out with my friends now. It was one of the biggest things, learning how to prioritize, learning how to be able to tell my friends, no, I don't want to hang out with you. I want to do my homework. I want to get this out of the way. So I have to prioritize my things. Like I can't put schoolwork aside and academic life aside for my friends. They'll always be there. My grades will not always be there. I have to work for them. So just realizing that and realizing that I have to like set time and make a schedule to do my work has honestly helped me. And this year I do homework on Saturday. That was never a thing for me before. Like who does homework on Saturday? Collab is a two week period, twice a year, where students pick a topic, whether it be filmmaking, ceramics, anything, psychology of the athletes, or independent projects and internships, and they focus on studying just that topic. So we don't have class. Your class is the topic that you choose. My last collab, I chose the Vermont collab and we hiked for 10 days. It was honestly the most challenging collab I've ever done, both, both physically and mentally. Every day we did about 10 miles, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're walking and going up and down mountains, it is a lot. <laughs> Some of the people in the group, I honestly had never even said hi to. But towards the end of the trip, by like the fourth day, they became my best friends. So last season we were undefeated and it was a great season honestly. Every game was high energy, the bench was always cheering on the starters and the players that got on the court. I didn't really notice till like last week when I actually started to do much better in practice and I was like whoa what's happened to me and it's nothing's happened to me I just care about the game now and it shows and there's a big difference in how the way I play. And then it was really sad, semi-final game, we lost. We all cried and sobbed like we were at a funeral, but it was really fun. And looking back, like it was one of the greatest volleyball seasons I've ever had. I love Global Dynamics because it just gives you the freedom to express yourself and express your ideas of history in English, the way you feel about certain topics and being able to learn how others think but at the same time learning how to respect the differences that we have within each other. It's kind of like a blend between like world issues and history. It's not just history or English or reading. It's history plus current things that are happening in our world now and how they relate to history. Service learning, it's not community service. Community service is having a sheet of paper and then doing a few hours and then getting it signed off and saying, okay, you're good, you did your community service. And it's also a Band-Aid solution. You know, you can go to a soup kitchen and feed some people that day, but are they gonna be not hungry for the rest of their lives? So it's, it's a temporary solution. Service learning, on the other hand, is student-led. It's diving into the focus issue and the root causes of problems, and it's trying to find long-term solutions. So my eighth grade year, the first week, I got a list of schools and I saw this school and I read it and I was like, what in the world is Winchington? I literally had no idea, never heard of the school ever before, but I started to research it and then I visited the school and I can't even describe the feeling. It was like, you know that you belong there. 